This week, U.S. Senators plan to talk about legislation to address gun violence following the shooting in Uvalde, Texas. An AR-15 style rifle was used in that shooting, the same type of gun used in the Aurora Theater shooting. Line News reporter Jordan Chavez joins us live with insight from a doctor who treated victims the night of the Aurora Theater shooting. And we should warn you, some of these details may be disturbing to hear. Yeah, actually pretty disturbing, Corey. That, this is a familiar face for all of us here on 9 News. We first heard from Dr. Camille Assassin in the wake of that shooting there in Aurora, 10 years ago and this morning she is once again talking about the AR-15 style rifle that has been used in so many of these mass shootings unfortunately and the damage that it caused a decade ago she says remains very vivid in her mind she says in her 18 years as an ER doctor never has she seen wounds like that before Dr. Sasson says that's because these kinds of guns have a different impact on a person's body than a handgun she says when a person is shot with a handgun the bullet goes in and out of the body with a more linear trajectory and unless it hits a vital organ or an artery, they are likely to survive. But with an AR-15 style gun, these bullets send shock waves through the body that destroy different organs. She says there's bone fragments, destroyed livers and ruptured spleens. And unfortunately, that means a person bleeds out and can die right away. When somebody gets shot multiple times by an assault rifle, especially at close range, oftentimes there is very little to save, right? There are very few lives to be saved because those assault rifle wounds are so horrible. They're horrific to see. I can still see them in my mind almost 10 years later. Yeah, so Dr. Sasson says when treating traumatic injuries like a gunshot wound or even a car crash, doctors have a better chance at saving a patient if they can get to them within the hour. But after someone is shot by an AR-15 style rifle, unfortunately, that window shrinks to only minutes. And that is a really big reason Dr. Sasson says she was so bothered when she learned that it took police an hour to breach the classroom door there in Uvalde, Texas, Corey. Yeah, at least an hour. Some, some are saying 90 minutes, but yeah, that's just a lot of time and not much they can do once they get someone. Jordan, thank you.